All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Uh, this is IPG Tactical Realism, and I am Zach doing a mod review for Community Factions Project. It's one of the mods that we've been using for a hot minute, and I like it a lot because it adds a lot of really, really cool factions, and it adds actually a lot of cool gear you can use in your arsenals, uh, which is different than a lot of other mods that add factions that sometimes they don't actually put stuff in the arsenal too. So one unique thing I'll start off now with the mod itself is a lot of the gear and stuff that's in this is actually from other mods, kind of like VSM, which is now known as MLO. Um, there's a lot of cool mods that they put in there with it that you technically wouldn't even need to run those to run with this, which is kind of cool. So it helps you guys save space with your communities, um, and it also adds in a lot of cool stuff that you probably wouldn't see otherwise. So I'm going to go ahead and start the review. Alright, so I'll start off with some of the factions real quick. Um, there's a, I'm not going to cover all of them, but there's a lot of really cool ones here. So we've got the first one, with the Afghan Army, which is going to be this guy. All By the way, they also have all the patches and several other patches that are just cool and motivational stuff. But anyway, uh, we have Afghan Army stuff. Um, it's Obviously, Afghan Army is very, very different. And they have a lot of different guys, but this is just our first one here, Mr. Abdul. Uh, they have their own vehicles, sometimes with custom flags attached. Um, obviously, we've got a little hand-me-down Humvee that they definitely use, courtesy of the U.S. military. Um, second to that, we have the Afghan police. I think this guy is a Afghan uh, SWAT policeman, I believe. They have like a different color uniform. I don't know if this is actually the type of kit they would be running. I don't know if they have that level of kit, but still, it's kind of cool to see different factions like that. Uh, next up, we got a really cool one that I liked a lot, a lot is the CIA Special Activities Division, uh, complete with their own custom patches as well. Um, basically, just takes some CP assets and adds in their own little Pry G3 uniforms and adds this cool-ass Desert Tiger, Di Desert Tiger uh, camo, I believe it is, and they also have their own vehicles. Um, very, very cool. Uh, next up, we have Navy SEALs. I believe they have like 2003 and then before 2003 Navy SEAL variants, but we've got several different camo variants. We have uh, AOR uh, 2, I believe, complete with a whole CUP weapon loadout, as well as a multicam version uh, wearing a VSM vest, or MLO, but it is their version of it, which I don't know if there's any textual, uh, textual, if that's a fucking word, texture differences um, among them, but they are really, really cool to have in the mod and have actual AI spawn with. Uh, also comes complete with their own vehicles. I think that's a CUP one, but it's just in the mod itself. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, CUP has them, but the Hilux, or Helix, however you pronounce it, is uh, now a part of also uh, CFP. So you can have many, many different versions of it. This one has a ZU in the back, which is really, really fun to run around and fire and flip your car with. Uh, but this guy right here is uh, Hezbollah, and I think every one of them comes with the green headband, which is oh so fun to shoot at from long range, because I don't know why I want to wear camo and that at the same time. Uh, then I believe we have Somali Rebels, which are using you know typical African kit, and uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. Also comes with uh, this truck. It's a... I don't know, the truck. <laughs> and then we have the Touareg Rebels, which I believe were a big part in the uh, Libyan Civil War. I knew they controlled some territory for some time, and it's kind of cool to see them too also represented, but you don't really see them, uh, some of the smaller factions in the Middle Eastern Wars represented, and it's really cool to see them too. Also, I really like this guy's kit. I think it's, I think it's like an ADRL. BDU uniform. I don't know. It's also fun to shoot at them from far away because, uh, yeah, I don't know why the fuck you would wear bright yellow. But anyway, uh, the last AI I'm going to go over is their civilian module, which is really cool. This is basically the same civilian spawned four times, and they randomize, well, at least within what would be realistic uh, for their region, they randomize their uniforms, their outfits, to match the region. So it's really cool. Because as a Zeus, you know, you don't want to have to click on 15 different civilians to spawn something, you know. So it's really cool to see this, and you can just click one, you know, press control and left click over and over and over again. you got a bunch of different types of civilians, which is really, really useful. 
Um, so let's move on to the uniforms itself in Arsenal. Okay, so we're just starting out with this basic survivor loadout kit that I have now. Uh, but let's go sort by mod, the Arsenal, scroll down, and you'll see this logo here is the Community Factions Project logo. And you see they have a metric fuck ton of things to pick from. Now some of these have been, are from like other mods, like you, you'll probably see a lot of stuff from Cup, but um, still there's some things in here that I haven't seen in other mods that are like pretty uh, faction specific. Uh, like the Gorkas, I don't think that any other mod I've seen has these like different types of Gorkas, which actually surprisingly really good textures in comparison to some of the other mods that they have. I'm a really big fan of the uh, MVD Sorpat guys they have in there, which is really, really cool to see them represented. Um, let's see here. I got all that stuff. All the field uniforms, pretty much a lot of, a lot of mods already have that, but there's just so many different versions of these uniforms that also come with uh, flags. Let me see if I can find one. Yeah, it comes with flags on them, right? Uh, so it's really cool if you guys have units or clans, communities, whatever you like to call it, that run lots of different factions, kind of like my clan does, um, because you can just easily just say, hey, run, you know, IDF loadout, and it's got, boom, IDF special forces kind of loadout. It's really, really cool. Uh, they actually also have a full 75th Ranger Regiment, like, kit ready to go, which is really, really cool because, you know, going through a massive amount of stuff in the arsenal is not fun, but you can just tell your guys, hey, go run the 75th stuff, and they know automatically, boom, every piece of kit in that uniform has 75th in the name. Uh, like, if we go to the vest real quick, sort by mod, should be able to find, yeah, we got the 75th. I'm pretty sure this was from another mod itself, too, which was the uh, 75th Ranger Regiment mod it was just a faction mod that just had this in it i don't know if it's from the same people but either way works really well with uh simplicity in the arsenal um i'm pretty sure they also have some backpacks and stuff that other mods don't run uh, i haven't seen the camel pack in any of the ones and i'm pretty sure they also have like a breacher kit around here somewhere else yeah they have cutters i think he actually already has cutters on them. yeah he does <laughs> Well, they have some some really cool stuff you can utilize. Different you know versions of the U.S. Tactical Backpack, which the the two backpacks that are in Arma and all the mods, it's kind of cool to have some differentiation. Uh, so let's see here. I'll just cover headgear real quick, maybe weapons, and wrap it all up. So headgear, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of different headgear you guys can run in this one. Uh, it's really cool. If you guys like playing as uh, IDF, they are the only faction mod I've seen that's like a blanket faction mod that has I don't even know how to pronounce Mizenfet. Uh, these helmets. So it's really cool to have those included too. But yeah, their Ops Corps uniforms, um, or their Ops Corps helmets, are very good, very detailed. Um, a lot more surprising to see this little detail out of a mod that was pretty much unknown from what I saw uh, before we started using it a while back. Um, there's some really cool stuff in here though, for sure. Uh, the Ops Corps helmets are kind of shiny, a little more shiny than I thought they would be, but I'm pretty sure that is a CUP asset. Um, but yeah, the name of the game with this one is just taking assets from a bunch of different mods, putting them all into this, and kind of making a blanket thing you guys can use, which is really nice. It is really nice. I don't know if that's okay with the other people that use those mods, but keep that between you and me. Anyway, uh, they have a lot of face wear too. Cover that very briefly. Um, yeah, look, tactical goggles, stuff like that. I haven't really seen a lot of these in other mods. Their beards are actually pretty high quality. Because I know that some of the other beard mods, you guys love being all operator as fuck and everything. Some of the other beard mods I've seen don't actually have beard textures from the back. And uh, it's kind of nice to see one that actually kind of works. It doesn't look really janky from uh, afar or from a different angle. Uh, so the weapons we have here. Let me see. All the weapons are at the bottom here. There's not a whole bunch of weapons, as you can see, but they've got really cool different camo textures for ones. Like, my personal favorite is the Mark 14. Um, you don't see very many different textures for this in other mods, and it's really cool to be able to go in here and get, like, the woodland version of this because it looks really, really smooth. And let's see here. The last two things that are really important I want to cover is, first of all, faces because, man, it's cool. You can't really see it now because I'm wearing sleeves. If I can uh, do this real quick. 
I can wear a t-shirt if you can. Yeah. Uh, they have tattoos and stuff in this mod, which is really, really cool. Because you don't have, once again, you don't have to install another mod to have this work. They have a lot of different variations. They got like camo face paint versions. If I could find one of those. Yeah, they got camo face paint versions with tats. So super cool operator secret squirrel stuff you guys can do. I don't know why he has two of the same tattoo, but hey, man, it's up to you. That's your decision. Uh, let's look at the patches real quick, and then we can much be done. Um, as you can see, there is a bunch. There's blood types, lots of nationalities. Um, pretty much every one of them just goes with an individual nation itself. Um, cool, super bright, see you from a mile away patches that are really cool you guys can run. Lots of Russian ones. I don't know. There was a huge focus on the Russian part of this mod, which is really, really cool. And uh, I have no idea what any of these do, but I will we'll probably try to learn out eventually. Uh, if you guys want to be a fake ranger and get a ranger tab, stolen valor and all that stuff, you're welcome to do that. And they got sapper stuff, sniper stuff. You guys have that in your units. Um, yeah, and <laughs> now you can probably catch your guys running the ISIS flag, which hopefully this video doesn't get taken down for having that in there. Uh, I'll take that away real quick. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a, if you, for some reason, some way, don't mind doing that where you run as fucking ISIS, they have it. Um, so yeah, you've got YPG. A lot of really cool stuff. A lot of really cool stuff. But that is pretty much everything that CFP has to offer. Uh, overall, out of five, I would definitely give it like a, a four. A four out of five. Um, there's not too much else I could really ask from it. Um, it pretty much does everything you would expect it to do, and I hope that them having other mods in this isn't a conflict and it doesn't get taken down eventually because they're using other people's stuff. Um, I don't know how it really works in the mod community like that, but I know that it's a really good mod. I would recommend it for your community if you want to minimize the load in your mod pack, which ours is ridiculously heavy, so I need it, um, or if you just want to have variation in stuff you can do. For those of you who run plans that have like, you know, one thing you do, you know, unless it's like the Rangers or like Seals or something, I wouldn't really recommend the mod because there's just so many different things you can do in the arsenal and, you know, I don't think you're going to need 60% of the factions that this has if you only do just one thing, but where's the fun in that? So yeah, that pretty much concludes the Community Factions Project mod review. Like I said, it's about a 4 out of 5 and I would really recommend you guys run it. So special thanks to creators of this mod and everybody that is subscribed to the channel. If you're not, feel free to subscribe, get more mod reviews, and watch us bumble our way through ops. That is everything, so you guys have a good day.